Hello, Jay here, welcome to eonsbattle.com, and today I'm going to show you how to make an orc machinery base. The first thing I did was I took the GW base and I removed the texturing that it comes with. And then I took a sheet of plastic card and I cut a large rectangle. And then I took that rectangle and cut it into smaller sized triangles, and I just kept chopping the triangles until I had some larger, some smaller. Enough that it looked like they could cover the base pretty evenly. I then took a little super glue and I began applying them to the base. Now, it does, you shouldn't worry about overhanging too much, it shouldn't get too crazy off the base. And then make sure that you position them in such a way that it's taking up the majority of the base. Once you have the entire base covered in the little triangles, you can then move on to the rivets. You want to cut a very, very thin piece of plastic card, and then with your scissors, cut very, very small squares. You want to have enough so that you can put about three on each triangle. And then to apply the rivets, we're going to take a, a little pin and poke it into each rivet, and then put a dot of super glue on the triangle, and then place them with the pin. You definitely don't want to use your fingers to place these rivets, as it'll just get messy, you'll get glue on your fingers, and you'll probably end up with fingerprints in the glue on the base. The pin works really well for this, and it doesn't leave behind any holes in the rivets. So once you've put like one to three on each triangle, the base is pretty much done. Now it's on to painting. I primed the whole model black, and then I moved on to a to a covering the whole thing in a base coat of a metallic. I then took a coppery color and I dry brushed it onto the whole base. I was pretty abstract with this. I left some of the areas bare metal and some of the areas I covered in the the coppery part. The copper is going to act as a, a rusting look once it's washed. And then I wash the whole thing in a dark brown. This will give it a mottled, rustified look. If you have any other techniques or ideas you'd like to see us do, please leave it in the comments below. If you'd like to see more of our content, you can visit our website at eonsbattle.com. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching.